Thank you. May we just get you a little bit closer to the podium sure. and may we get you to just say your name and title for a mic check? Sure. Good afternoon. Now, my name is um, Detective Chief Inspector Dave Scutchings from Sirius and Gwinnells Crime Branch. Thanks very much. Yeah, good afternoon. My name is uh, Detective Chief Inspector David Scutchings from Serious Organised Crime Branch. Detectives from Serious Organised Crime Branch have commenced, commenced an operation um, targeting a series of crimes uh, that have occurred in the southern suburbs of Adelaide. And we believe the crimes are linked and they're a result of a number of feuding factions in the southern suburbs. Um, I'll go through the crimes just quickly. Uh, there's a series of six of them on the 18th of August. Uh, 2020, Zach's Pizza Bar at Helen Hill was destroyed by arson. And not long after that, on the 22nd of August, the Melt Hair Studio at Woodcroft, Woodcroft was also set alight, causing approximately $1 million of damage to the business and surrounding premises. On 20th October 2020, a man was seriously assaulted at uh, Morpha Vale, and then three more serious assaults occurred on the 23rd of October 2020 at Nunya Avenue at Park Home. Um, Parramatta Drive at Morpha Vale and also at Seaford Rise. Police became aware of those assaults after the victims, a total of four victims, uh, attended the hospital with a variety of injuries, um, broken bones, serious head injuries and lacerations. The victims have declined to assist police with the investigation and consequently we are here today to ask for further assistance from the public to investigate the crimes. Detectives believe these assaults and arsons uh, are related and that all of the parties are known to each other. It's believed the incidents have started as a result of um, clashing criminal enterprises and um, they've escalated and continued on in a tit-for-tat type um, scenario. Police are currently following a number of positive lines of inquiry. We are releasing CTV today which shows a Blue Holden crewman utility which has been linked to at least two of the assaults. The CCTV shows that three persons of interest um, alighted a um, left the scene of an assault at Nyanya Avenue at Park Home just after 4pm on the 23rd of October and drove off in that Holden utility. We're particularly interested in speaking with an elderly male and also a um, female person who might have seen the trio in Nyanya Avenue at Park Home as they left in that ute. We're asking the public to um, call Crime Stoppers on 1800 0 um, I'd like to stress that um, police are reliant on the public um, providing us information in relation to these and other crimes. We do guarantee anonymity uh, and we can say that the, any information is available to us to assist us in our investigation. Are there any questions? Are these clashing criminal enterprises um, clashing bikey gangs? And we are investigating links to bikey gangs but at this stage we can't provide any further information to, in relation to those links. Um, the owner of one of these businesses that you're referring to that has been the target of an arson attack, uh, Jack's Pizza, have the owners of these businesses been cooperative in your investigations? Yes, they have been speaking to police. Um, I, I need to um, just reiterate that we are um, trying to generate some information in relation to the three people um, that are linked to the assault and the Blue Crewman Ute. Um, they're linked to three particularly serious assaults. SAPOL will continue to investigate these assaults until the offenders are identified and apprehended. Yeah, is the Park Home assault, did that um, assault off the top of my head involve a gun? Is that on uh, not that I can recall. Do you know something that you're actually looking for? Is it those three or are there more? Um, there's at least three. There's a potential for more to be linked. So as the investigation unfolds, um, we'll try and establish whether there are more people linked than those original three. Are the owners of these businesses, are they persons of interest themselves in this investigation? No, they're not at this stage. Why were they targeted? Uh, I can't say that. Do you believe drugs to be involved? Um, there's a potential for drugs to be involved in all sorts of these crimes. We haven't identified any direct links to drugs. In terms of the victims, do you know if any of those have associations with a particular bike again? No. And is it, what's the... Um, a few just to ascertain dominance in the South? Oh, um, it's hard to tell at this stage. We're still investigating that. What we can say is that it appears through a chronological order of events that there'll be one offence has occurred followed by another one and then another in a um, reprisal type scenario.
Things have obviously been quiet for a little while now. Why now? Why are police asking for, for information now? Uh, all these investigations take time to narrow down to um, what we're looking for and where, and we have to seize um, different types of evidence, CCTV, et cetera, et cetera, analyse the evidence and then ascertain from that evidence what we're looking for. These, um, these incidences, these assaults, arsons, uh, can you describe those um, incidents for us, I mean, and, and the impact that they have on the community and the individuals involved? Yeah, well, for every arson and, in fact, any crime that occurs in the community, there's obviously um, potential for victims who aren't related or involved in the offending to be involved. Um, certainly at least one of the arsons that occurred, there were surrounding shops that were impacted by the arson and, and consequently police are very determined to get to the bottom of how and why these offences have occurred and to try and apprehend the offenders. Um, the, the two individuals that you would like to speak to, the elderly male and I think a female, you said, yep. um, what is your message to them? If that is them that you're looking to talk to, what's your message to them? Yes, we, we can... Um, and say to the early male and also the female who we believe are in the vicinity of the um, Blue Crewman Ute as it left Nanya Avenue at Park Home, um, that we will treat all information in confidence. Um, we, can, we can ensure that um, your identity won't be passed on uh, and, and yeah, we'll be retaining confidence. Just to clarify, do you believe that those two individuals um, know who the identity is of the people that are in this Ute? No, not at this stage. We're, we're seeking them as independent witnesses. And, and these people you don't believe are persons of interest or, or, or are associated with these crimes? No, that's right. No, it's our understanding that potentially um, people who are walking past at the time uh, and may have um, observed the blue crimin ute leaving with the three persons involved. There's nothing to say that they're linked to those three persons. I'm assuming you haven't been able to track down this, this ute then? Right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. We haven't established the identity of the blue ute. And, and that's what we'd like to do to assist us further in this investigation. How long has this tit-for-tat war or feud been going on for? What, when, how far does it step back to? Yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't call it a war. Um, there, there is a tit-for-tat retaliation of sorts. Um, the earliest offences that we're investigating today are back in 18th of August 2020. In terms of the retaliation, so you've got Zach Peaks Bar and then Melt, is that a retaliation, do you believe? Or? Uh, um, we suspect that there is links between the offenders. It's hard to tell at this stage until we can speak to the offenders whether it's a retaliation or whether you know, they're, they're linked together. The, one of these individuals, Zach, the owner of the Pizza Bar, he has been the target of an arson attack prior to this uh, a couple of times. Um, so you don't believe that those previous attacks on that individual are associated with the current feud that you're investigating? Uh, I can say that at the moment we're investigating a series that we have linked, and that series we believe is linked closely to three people who we're now trying to identify. So offences that have occurred beforehand um, we don't think are linked, um, but we continue to investigate to try and establish the motives and also any links between the crimes. Well, the business owner of, of the pizzeria has, has questioned as to why he would be the victim of such an attack. You are now saying that there is a link between a number of incidents. Do you believe that the owner of that business knows why he has been targeted of an arson attack? Is that in relation to Zach's pizza bar, sir? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think so. No, I'm certainly that information hasn't been forthcoming to us. Is that surprising to you if you've made a link? Um, sometimes there are people who uh, aren't willing to talk about things that they know about. That's why we're here today, to try and encourage people to talk about what they know, to provide us with information. Uh, it is anonymous or can be anonymous if uh, they need it to be, and we'll use that information um, as best we can to try and apprehend the offenders involved in these incidents. So what exactly do police need from the public to progress with the investigation? Is it just identities of the, the people of interest, or is there more sort of...? Uh, there could be more information. Sometimes policing is about what you don't know as opposed to what you know. So um, the idea of us speaking today is to try and generate some sort of information coming into serious and organised crime branch. It might be something we don't know already or it might also firm up stuff, uh, information that we already do know. So just to clarify, you believe these three people were responsible for all of these assaults? Or? Now, at, at this stage, we, we are investigating whether they are, are linked to all of the six offences of detail. We are particularly keen to investigate their involvement in the three offences that occurred on the one day, uh, and that was on the 23rd of October 2020. Uh, are the, sorry, last question. Are the three that you're investigating here in this youth, are they both 
um, uh, being investigated as alleged perpetrators and also victims? Is this, is this also part of the investigation? Uh, at, at this stage, we're looking for three persons we would describe as persons of interest in relation to the offending that occurred, particularly on the 23rd of October 2020. Now we believe they are three males. Three males. All right, thanks. Thank you. Stay there for us for one second. Let's get a quick cut away. Are you not? Are you going to play the CCTV no, no, here? No, or no, just, no. Oh, just quickly no. release. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you don't. You, you don't have any idea, sort of, what age you're looking for or any other description that you see. No.